guys, it's me, Nina. First off, I have to apologize. I didn't post last week. I totally forgot to even record a video, and by the time that I was ready to record, it was too late at night, so I didn't have any lighting. So, yeah, all well. I have a book haul for you, and I'm super excited. Some of these books came from my library, so um, my library has a sale room. I frequently get books from the library. And then I just went to Ollie's yesterday and I got a few books there. So let's just get into it. The first book I picked up, I'm sure you've all heard of, is Ready Player One. This is now a movie, so I still haven't seen the movie because I've wanted to read the book first and now I have it. Um, so this is a futuristic book that takes place, uh, this kid loves this video game or whatever, and then there's a prize if you win it, but some of these people will like kill for the prize. So like he has to like face all these people in this game or something. I'm really unsure. I don't like to read too much of like synopsises as you guys probably know by now because I like to go into books blind and not have any idea what they're about and then be like, oh wow, this is cool or oh, I didn't expect that. And then like it'd be like blowing my mind. So if I read the back of the books or I watch reviews, I'm just like, oh, now I know what to expect. Eh. Don't really feel like reading that book but like you know what I mean like I want to go into a book and not know what I'm gonna get myself into then I have and then there were four by Nancy Whelan so I don't I've never heard of this book but it looked pretty cool in Ollie's so I picked it up and I read partials of uh, a partial bit of the synopsis to see what I could tell you guys um it kind of gives me um what's that book called uh, shit, 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 shit. That book with the faces, uh, people were calling it like The Breakfast Club. This kind of reminds me of that. Um, which one is lying? Someone's lying? I don't know. I don't know. I forget what it's called. I got an arc of it though. Anyway, so this deals with five students who are called into like the principal's office or something. And then one of them dies. And then there's four of them, hence the name. And so they believe that their parents are trying to kill them for some reason. We don't know why, but like just that like makes me want to read the book. Like my mom wants to kill me. Why? Like that is a good book. Then I have Curse 13th Fae. So this is a, it says a true tale of Sleeping Beauty. So this is like a fairy tale retelling. <laughs> Let me just tell you, this was marked as $10, then I went to a different store and it was marked $8, then I went to a, a store where I bought it, which I bought for $2, so woo, me. Anyway, this is by Jay Yolen, and I'm not too much of a fan of the cover, but I kind of liked the font, and then I read that it was about Sleeping Beauty, and I want to read more fairy tale retellings, so I picked it up because of that. I, I haven't read anything about like what it is, just gonna tell you it's a fairy tale retelling of Sleeping Beauties. Moving on, I'm sure you've all heard of Illuminae by Jay Kristoff um, and Amy Kaufman. This is a honking book, but the format of it makes up for it because it's not like this is all just a bunch of words. Um, this is a series, oh no, a duology, I think. Maybe it's a series. I don't know. I haven't read it. Everybody was talking about it. My library didn't have it, and I couldn't find it anywhere to buy it, but then I found it for $2 and I bought it. So I will be reading this at some point in my life. <laughs> um, anyway, this, oh, I didn't know what it was about either until I had to read the back to tell you guys. But again, we're in the future, and there's like evil corporations, and then these two exes have to like get along to escape whatever is happening. And then there's a plague or something. I don't know. I stopped reading because I didn't want to know anymore. But evil corporations, exes having to get along, and like plague, and the format of this book, like, how could I not want to pick it up? The last book I bo bought from Ollie's is this. So Now I Rise by um, Kristen Wright White. I believe this is a series. I think this is the second book. And I Darken is the first one, I believe. And I think my library has the first one. But anyway, I found this and I was like, ooh, I want to read it. Um, I didn't 
read the synopsis, so no idea what it's about, but I'm guessing Demand for the Crowns. It has to be like an evil kingdom book and like, oh, we gotta get that crown, you know? Like royalty, uh, like kicking ass, people dying, like, hello, this is my book. Like, moving on to the library books I got. The first one I have is Doing Harm by Kelly Parsons. Sorry, I stopped for a minute because I thought this was a, a, a novel, like, in a series. Um, anyway, I didn't read what this was about. It just had the slash and it looked cool. And uh, Doing Harm sounds like maybe a revenge story. Sounds like someone's gonna, you know, be sadistic and hurt people for fun. And that's what I'm all about. <sighs> then I have this honking ass book that was very, very popular, like, two years ago or something like that. But it's IQ Ford 84. And this is like a Japanese book. Like, um, it's written by a Japanese person and I believe it takes place in Japan. I'm not quite too sure. Anyway, this girl, um, somehow travels through time or something. She, she goes back to IQ 84. Q is question mark, like, cause she doesn't know what year it really is. And she has to like figure out how she got there or something. She's in a parallel existence. And then like, it says it's a love story, a mystery, a fantasy, a novel of self-discovery, a dystopia, dystopia, dystopia to rival George Orwell's. Well, if this has anything to rival with George Orwell, like I gotta read this. If you guys don't know, I love George Orwell's 1984. I also really enjoyed Animal Farm, but I prefer 1984. But I didn't read what this was about. It's called The Border Lords. To me, this is like, oh man, I should have read this. It's number four in a series. I probably will rejuvenate this because I'm not going to go find the other three. Anyway, I didn't read what this was about. Um, I'm guessing it's like gangs and like the drug lords, like, you know, like rivals or some shit. But I don't know. Then we have Pitch Dark by Steven Sador. So this just looks creepy. There's blood and a knife and woods and a creepy man. Like, this is screaming, Nina, read it, you know? Like, I love them serial killer murder stories. Um, that's all I know, man. What I got from the covers, all I know. I have The Pretty One by Lucinda Rosenfeld. So, um, kind of looks just like, oh, three best friends, but this girl has some scissors. It's ready to fucking, like, cut her hair or stab her. We don't know. Uh, I didn't read what it was about, so I'm guessing from the cover it's gonna be, like, a revenge story. I'm guessing, like, this girl's super jealous of either, like, her sister or one of her friends or some bitch in high school. And she is going to take revenge on that girl because she's sick of being everybody's second choice or being invisible to people. And she wants to get the boy. Or she wants to get this. And she's sick of the pretty one getting everything. I can relate, to be honest. I have black water. Um, I picked this up. And again, I should have read more clearly because it's a, a novel for like a series, I believe. So I'm probably not going to read this. I just picked it up because it looked kind of cool. Black water. It seemed mysterious. Seemed like somebody was going to die. Same with this one, to be honest. This is called just White. No, Helsinki White by James Thompson. But it's an Inspector Vera novel and it's number three. Um, I didn't look at that. So I'm probably going to redonate this um, because I don't want to go find the other two. I don't want to go read the other two. Um, I just, like, I wanted to read an Inspector novel. I don't really like the Inspector side of things. I just want to read serial killer side, so I'm not too heartbroken about it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!